everyone. Welcome to Vibe and Estate Gems. I am Lola G and I appreciate you being here. So I had some good little lots that I just thought I would jump into with you and unbox them for you. Um, these were some that I picked up that are sterling, al sterling silver alpaca and I'm a little bit disappointed today. I hope you guys are doing well though. And please subscribe and like. Uh, I would appreciate it. However, I'm a little bit disappointed because I didn't get to go to the auction that we were going to go to because they had a, we just decided to stay home, you know, still don't feel real great about that yet. So anyway, moving along. Um, yeah, so I got these things from Goodwill. So we'll just see what we have. I kind of know what it is because I could see the stuff, but I just don't know what, you don't always know Goodwill, you know, what state it's in. They'll say, oh, this is really great. And then you get it and you're like, really? Okay. This though is, is really great. It's so pretty. Let's see if it's, it is not magnetic. Wow. So these most of the time are handmade. Um, yeah, it says alpaca on the back and it is sterling silver. And look, it's got this inlaid mother of pearl and abalone. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that's stunning. That's just stunning. And all the scroll work in silver. Check that out. It is a sterling silver cuff. Loving the color story there. That's so pretty. It's almost like a clover leaf. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, let's see. Oh, oh we have things falling out of things. Okay. What's going on here, folks? <laughs> What is this? I don't know. Okay, so we have these things that fell out, and those are unusual. We have a ring. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You know, look at the, the color play. Um, it's, you know, it's abalone shell, so it's a pearl, a type of pearl. So there's pearlescence there, but to me, and I know it's not labradorescence because it doesn't live inside the stone, but there is a labradorescence effect when you roll it around. And I hope you guys are getting that. You get this sort of aqua. You get a shift of purple. I'm getting pink. I'm getting gold. I'm getting, yeah, lots of purple, lots of turquoise color, um, yellow. Abalone, to me, is just one of the most gorgeous stones. I don't get why Holly Weird, or Holly Weird, listen to me. Holly, people in Hollywood don't wear it more often. It's just so stunning. I think it's one of the most stunning natural elements out there that it just comes just like that. You don't have to do a whole lot. And it's so inexpensive, and everyone can own it. But wow, look at that. This is a ring. Let's see what size it is. Um, It is. It's a seven. Really? It's a seven. Wow. We've got Barber Mandrill here. Barber Mandrill here, there, everywhere. Um, I picked, if, if you're looking for a mandrel, I think I got mine off of Amazon. You can get a mandrel bundle where you get a ring sizer and a mandrel and something else for like eight or nine dollars. It's not really expensive. So, yeah. Um, so that's beautiful. Put that guy over there. And then these are some little earrings. Oh, wow. I, when I first, I, okay, so I got into like trying to make jewelry, right? And messing with acrylic. And I had little flowers and I had like little pieces of things and glitter. And let me tell you something, messing with acrylic is no easy feat. It takes a lot of patience because it gets bubbles in it. So this is acrylic jewelry set in, yes, sterling silver. This is alpaca silver and just the little flowers in a cobalt blue background. That is so pretty. And they're just little dangle. Those are so sweet. Look, is the, oh, is the other one there? Oh yeah, it is. That always makes me like, oh no, is the other one there? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Love those. Yes. All right. And then we have another pair. Ooh, ooh, so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. Ooh, those are gorgeous. They have purple flowers in kind of um, a turquoise background. Ooh, and the acrylic again in the, yes, alpaca. What does this one say? It says alpaca also. What? Okay, I gotta get the loop now. Oh, uh, what does Mr. Loop say? He says, um, oh, it says alpaca also. Okay. <laughs> Oh goodness, it's been one of those days already. What's in here? Oh, okay, so we have more things. Take it out of said 
plastic wrap there. Ooh, look at that. What is this? Is this a pin? Oh, it's a pin pendant. So we have Le Pin and the pendant, and it is, it says Alpaca Mexico on it. Ooh, listen, this stuff is gorgeous. <laughs> I hope it's showing off for you. It's doing a, it is just telling itself. It's telling a story. Look at it show off. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? And there's like a hawk's eye there, and, and this is mother of pearl. It's sort of pink. And then you have the inlaid, and this is all hand done um, in, in the inlaid abalone. I mean, golly day, so pretty, so, so pretty. And then of course you can put it on a, you know, your sterling chain and wear it as a, as a pendant or you can, you know, wear it as a pin. Wouldn't that be gorge on something? Oh, it's just glowing almost. It just blows my mind how gorgeous it is. And then we have a butterfly. Oh, he's going to fly away. Come back. Okay. Ooh, look right there. Oh my God. Look at, do you see the purple? Oh, I hope it's showing off for you guys. Ooh, look at the, there's some really bright purple there. There's a little lemony yellow, greens. Abalone is just, it just screams. Look at me. Look at me. I'm fabulous. So, so pretty. And then we've got mother of pearl down the middle. Um, and it is, oh yeah, it's also alpaca, and this one does not have a pendant. But I mean, you could put a bale on it if you wanted to, and wear it as a, as a, as a pendant. But it is a pin and a butterfly. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. What a work of art, eh? People just don't know what they're missing out on with, with you know, abalone. I have a lot of it, and I love it. OMG. So this is probably going to live with mama <laughs> because yeah, I'm a lack in this. I like this. This is, this belongs to me now. Um, I love black jewelry and then I like the content of this. Look at all the sterling silver work and then you've got your abalone and then the mother of pearl. That is stunning. And it is a, this one's a bracelet, a cuff bracelet. Oh, okay. Let's break it, Lilla. <laughs> and does it say, yeah, it says alpaca Mexico. That is so, so pretty. I don't know. I might not keep it. I have this thing that I said to myself, if you end up keeping many of the things that you get, you're going to end up having to have 75 jewelry boxes. And I already had a really steady, I had a solid um, collection myself um, of things that I've collected that were my own, that I've purchased, <laughs> not from Goodwill or wherever. Um, and so I said to myself, you know, you really need to sell and give to someone else to love, but, oh, that's going to be a hard one because I love this and it's got that stuff that I love in it. And that's really why I bought this. I love abalone. I just don't think people get it, how gorgeous it is and how it just, it's all the colors, you know, so let's see what else we have. More abalone, of course, because, you know, Ooh, another cuff. It's really small though. It probably fits a four and a half to a five inch wrist. Wow, that one's so pretty too. Almost like a daisy or a carnation. There's a little bit of yellow in the middle where they put a little gold or brass. And then we've got our abalone there and our mother of pearl going, look at me, I'm fabulous. Y'all, this is stunning. And of course all the sterling silver scroll work down the side. So, so incredibly beautiful. And all hand done and hand rendered. Um, you know, I've never seen how it's made with how Alpaca Mexico makes their jewelry, but I would like that. And I'll have to get on YouTube and see if they have that because I think that would be so cool to see how they inlay that, how they get the stone and it's so, so pretty. And that abalone, oh, there it goes. It's just going to glow. I'm trying to get it to cut up. There it goes. Shift across for you guys. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Oh, we have a, we have a barrette. Ooh, now I've never seen one of these. I've seen a lot of the other things, but I've never seen a barrette. Wow. So we have the mother of pearl and um, some black stuff here. I don't know what that is. It's cold. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably a plastic or some kind of composite. And then we have the abalone, of course. Um, and I'm sure the artisans use, you know, what is available to them. And, and that's awesome. Looks like a skateboard. You can get on it and put some wheels on it and 
Did your kid, I'm like, when you were younger, did you have those little skate, they were like finger skateboards and they were like a thing for a hot minute and they looked like this kind of, although this one looks more like a surfboard and it had little wheels and then you were supposed to do wheelies with your fingers. I never got into it, but I was like, why would somebody want to do that? If you did, no shame. I'm sorry. I just never got it. I couldn't, I think somebody gave me one at a birthday party for a gift and I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> you know, I, I was grateful, but I was like, what is this anyway? All right. So there's like purple in there and yellow. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine wearing that in your hair? Oh, I like this too. Cause it's black. It's so pretty. That's stunning. Wow. Okay. And then we have another cuff. Ooh, that one's really pretty too. Ooh, that's so pretty. Um, yeah. What do we have going on here? This looks bent almost. Is it bent? I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah, I that I think that's supposed to be turquoise, but I don't know about all that. But I do know that it's mother of pearl and abalone, that for sure. And it's sterling. This one might end up in a lot. I don't know. It only fits. It's, it's either child's jewelry, which is a thing, um, or it only fits a four and a half to a five inch wrist. I don't know. Ooh, earrings. Oh my goodness. Look at these. These are wow. Check that out. Oh, I got out of the frame. Um, those are gorgeous. I love how this one is just like almost the pearl color, but it's got so much pink and there's so many like stripes of purple in it. Look at it act up. And then, then we have this one and there's like the hawk's eye again. That's what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Ooh, there it goes. It's going to show off for you and this shape of earring or pendant is so modern and beautiful and classic and I just think that's stunning I don't know if I'll be able to get rid of these or not I love these for me <laughs> oh wow and then we have some more look with black and oh my goodness this is like the lot that's just like please keep me you know you want to <laughs> Like the voice within telling you, keep me, keep me. Oh my goodness, look at that. And I love how they're all, they're different. I think that the fact that they're, they're you know, um, different is so cool. And they're not matchy-matchy. I love that. We have like a tulip and then the daisy and then kind of a tear shape here. And then the mother of pearl. So, so pretty. And are they? Yes, they are alpaca sterling. Really, really pretty. Now, most of the time... Um, I've seen alpaca. I've actually seen um, heck in Mexico jewelry. That's a different kind of thing. Heck in jewelry can be off, is usually brass, and then it'll be inlaid with mother of pearl or whatever. I have a piece of, um, I have a, I had a heck in Mexico, Mexico, Mexico piece that I, it was a cuff and it was brass, and it was set with this really cool. Um, abalone and, and mother of pearl and it, it was from I think I hope I'm saying it right Hecken Hetchen Mexico and then now I have another piece from there that is brass and copper and it's either a pendant or a Christmas tree ornament I'm really not sure which <laughs> but it's in my store my eBay store at Vibe and Estate Gems but um, from alpaca I, I have some my, of my own pieces that I got when I was in Mexico but most of the time it is sterling silver. Now I have seen brass pieces too, also being alpaca and it's brass, um, but these are sterling. I still test them though, just so you know, before I put them out there because I don't, just because it doesn't say 925 doesn't mean it's sterling silver. And just because it's stamped sterling silver doesn't mean it is, right? Or because it says nickel silver doesn't mean it's silver, like sterling silver, so. But um, the Sea of Cortez is full of sterling, so that's a thing. Anyway, okay, so that's that little lot. And then I had one other one that I got from that same grouping that I was going to share with you. It is not alpaca jewelry, though. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Is it sterling? Let me get the leaf. Yeah. It is sterling. Oh gosh, I wish it was platinum. Wouldn't that be amazing? What's it say? It says, your mom. No, it says 2-5. Um, yeah, that I, gosh, that'd be a gorgeous. It's a pretty, 
wouldn't that make a gorgeous wedding ring or engagement ring? If that was really um, zircon or even you know quartz or topaz, I'm sure it's CZ though. I'll still have it looked at though by my jeweler because it's so pretty. Um, let's get the mandrel and see what size it is. It is, dun, 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 a, it looks like a six and a half. Let's give it a whirl and a twirl. Almost a six and a half. You can see it's sitting underneath Mr. Six here. Yeah, so, all right. Ooh, but look at that. Why do I keep putting it out of the frame? You know, like really? <laughs> Leave it to me. All right, that is, wow. Look at it. I just can't. Uh, wow. You guys, that's so cool. All right. What else we got? We have, ooh, we have this. It is a hinge bangle. How does it unhinge? That's so cool. It's like a little belt. Well, okay. But let's see. No way. Really? Look. Oh, that's so cool. Look at, oh, look at flipped up. Now I've, I've seen these, I actually have one in my shop right now that's a belt buckle like this, but it opens on the side. The belt doesn't actually open. That's crazy talk. Look at that. Wowzers. That's so cool. And what do we have in there? Ooh, we have a lot of writing in here. It says Mexico 925 TC 304. I don't know about the TC 304, but it is Mexican silver. It is gorgeous. Uh, I think it fit, it is adjustable. I think it fits a six inch wrist. Look at how it goes though. I love that the belt buckle actually works. I think that is actually a selling point for me. I love that. That's so beautiful. Wow. Heavy. That's really, wow. I have no idea what I'm gonna list it as. I'll have to do research on it. I really don't know. What else do we have? Okay. We have, ooh. That's like marcasite in there and some gemstones. We have peridot and citrine and amethyst and blue topaz and and mystery stone. What is that? Oh my gosh. That is, what is that? It's kind of a blushy colored stone. It, it can't be, it can't be, Oh, I just said the stone a minute ago. What is it? It's kind of that blush colored stone. It starts with a G. Oh, it's like my mom says, the train will come back around. Okay, so let's see what size it is. It is, so just almost a six. It's not quite a six. You can see it's sitting right above it, but almost a six. It's like a five and three quarters. Isn't that weird? How they, I mean, like it's, how does that even, how's that even a thing? Um. That's really pretty. So it's only going to fit my little finger because I wear a six on this finger. And I wear sixes here too. And then I wear a seven and a half there. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, why can't I think it? You know, don't you get frustrated when you can't think of the name of things? Um, it's my, my son's wife has one of these. Golly day. Well, he's my bonus son. But anyway, she wants Morganite. Thank goodness. It's also my nephew's girlfriend's name. Morganite. It looks like a Morganite. See? Oh my goodness. Surely not. Maybe it's a blush colored topaz or, or a pink um, sapphire sometimes. Those, it looks like a mother's ring almost, doesn't it? It's really pretty. I love Marcosite. Pretty. And we, yeah, let's make sure it's not magnetic. No. I knew these were sterling silver parcels, so it's good. We're good. Well, I said that. Ha ha. Um, yeah, it says 925. We're good. <laughs> I was like, oh no. What's this? <clears throat> Ooh, rose quartz. Oh, I, that's one of my favorite stones. Let's just, I say that about every stone. I don't think I have a stone that I actually don't like, really. I love gemstones. Gemstones are the bomb. And this is um, rose quartz set in a heart shape. February is Valentine's Day, or as I like to say, Galentine's Day. You can get your best friend a gift. You can get your teacher friend a gift. You can get yourself a gift. Yeah. Um, so it's really cool because this, there's all this scroll work, and then this part of the scroll makes a heart also. Do you see it inside of there? That's really pretty. And the back of it, of course, is heart shaped. Ooh, stunning. 
It's new. It has a tag and it says generous heart. So I will have to do some research as to how much. I think it's on an 18 inch chain, maybe 20, as to what I'm going to ask for that. But that is, it's a lot of sterling silver and it's gorgeous. So I don't know. All right. So let's go and see. Oh, it's a what could be a unisex ring, but I would probably predict it to be more like a man's ring. Um, it looks kind of brassy. Let's see. Oh, it's magnetic. It is. Look, it's magnetic. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's see about this. This is not silver, clearly. It's magnetic. <laughs> okay. I don't know where in their world. And it is a, what, an eight? Yeah, it's an eight. Right on the money. Yeah, it's an eight. Awesome. That's gorgeous. That stone, though, I wonder what that stone is. It doesn't look like glass. It's got a lot of different cuts there on it. It also has is cloudy in the center and has inclusions in it. That might be a natural stone, like a topaz or a zircon. And there's a lot of writing on the inside of it, too. What does it say? Ooh. It says, there's a lot of copper mess in here. <laughs> joking um 18 carat something something i can't read it 18 carat a whole lot of other things yeah clearly it's not 18 carat but there's a whole lot of other like i don't know it almost looks like you know egyptian lettering or something i <laughs> know it's not oh my goodness i think the stone is real though i what it is i don't know um i have a diamond tester but I'm sure if it, if it was a diamond, it would uh, probably be set at least in, at a minimum in sterling. Uh, and being that it's magnetic, I, I wouldn't, it's not going to be copper or brass or something because that aluminum, um, I know aluminum is not a precious metal, but it isn't magnetic either. So uh, I don't know. I, I just don't know. We'll have to investigate that more. So that is, that concludes that parcel of things. So let me just grab some more stuff up here, some of the things that I got, and we'll just do a quick little recap so you can re remember, remember me. Um, and then I just totally stuck one underneath the tray. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so a little recap. So this was the alpaca stuff. There's a cuff. And there's another cuff, but I have a feeling that this is a child's piece because, man, it's small and it looks a little wonky. I don't know about that one. Um, this one was stunning. You know, this one was one of my favorites with the very showy, offy ab abalone. Just quit showing off, girl. Abalone likes to show off. Look at that. Ooh, look at me. Look at me. Another cuff. Really pretty. Kind of floral inlaid. All of it's hand done. And then, of course, we have the hair clip, which can you imagine that being in your hair? Isn't it gorgeous? You would get compliments for days. Um, then we have these stunning earrings. I just want to see something really quickly. Yeah, see, they're not magnetic at all. Um, yeah, sterling silver. And then we have these. Ooh, I love the teardrops, don't you? They're so classic looking. And then, of course, we have these sweet little ones, which are little tiny flowers that are set underneath acrylic set in sterling silver, which I just think are gorgeous. And then we have the butterfly pin. Look at all the purple and the yellow, and it's just winking at you. And then we have a ring that's abalone and sterling, or alpaca Mexico, so it's sterling silver. That's so pretty, all natural. Gorgeous for all you naturalists out there. Okay, so that's me, guys. Be sure and like and subscribe for more videos coming at you. I will see you guys next time. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys. Oh, my goodness. I'm